Why hello there, and welcome to my sample series, where I showcase games running on either the PlayStation 4 Pro or the Xbox One X in 4K and or HDR. This week, I'm doing a little something different. I'm doing Luminous Remastered running on an Xbox One X. I believe this is a native 4K game running at 60 frames a second. Regardless, I'm going to post one, maybe two videos of this game. Uh, this game really needs no introduction. This is a PlayStation Portable launch title from back in 2004, I believe. Maybe 2005. I'm, I'm not quite sure on the year. But this was considered the best PlayStation Portable game. It is a music-based um, puzzle game. It's like Tetris, except it's not. And it has some electronic music playing over it. Uh, it's a very good game. Many consider it to be the best PSP game ever released, which is kind of sad because it was also a launch title and the, the PlayStation Portable never got anything better. I didn't have this game on the PSP back in the day. I did have its sequel, Electronic Symphony, on the Vita. And I liked that game a lot, and that's what inspired me to buy this game. But, uh, regardless, this is definitely an addicting game, and I'm going to spend a little time showing it off. So, without further ado, I'm going to jump into the challenge mode here. And I'm just going to go into basic here. Or, no, I'm going to go into endless, just in case for some reason I get on a roll and want to keep going. And yeah. And we'll see how things go. It's been a while since I played this. So I may be a little on the rusty side. So far, so good. that song that everyone knows about from this game. Yeah, that wasn't a good spot to put that. Try to set up some sick combos here. Yeah, um, the goal is to get it to the point where you can um, do four of these uh, combos at a time persistently to get a, ch a combo chain going. Got that thing which uh, clears out all of the colored blocks of the same color that are connected to each other. Very useful thing to keep in mind. That's why I was connecting all those orange ones there, hoping something like that would happen. And it did. So I'm fortunate in that regard. Oops, screwed that one up. There we go. I enjoy these types of games, but I, I'm not really good at them. Although, if I am considered good at any kind of game, it's this one. I spent a lot of time playing Tetris back in the day. We got to the point where I could make the church, the Church of St. Basil, launch into space. I'm referring to the uh, NES version. I never had the Game Boy version of the game, because I never had a Game Boy back in the day. So I, I mainly played that on the, the Nintendo Entertainment System. Get your Nintendo case out, kids. And eventually, once I get to a certain point, it will, um... It will uh, change uh, both music and um, background and graphics here. Once I get high enough to come at the combo thing.
That little icon on the bottom left, I'm not entirely sure what that is there for. Us. In the Vita game, uh, that that tapping that little icon on the bottom left would grant you uh, power. Can't actually remember what they were, but it gives you an ability. It, it was your way of activating an ability that helps you clear out more blocks. Oops, screw that one up. aren't costly mistakes, but they're definitely less than I do. <laughs> Ooh, I got it. Sometimes it pays not to be too hasty. You have no one opportunities might open up if you hold off for a few seconds. I wonder if any of this music is going to get me like a copyright, a content match or something. Or heaven forbid a strike. I don't want that. And then again, who does? find out. Thankfully, I do know how to deal with a copyright strike, if should I get one. I got one uh, when I tried to upload some footage of um, <laughs> Brutal Legend on the Xbox 360, which has music by a number of bands who don't like the internet, and don't like YouTube, and don't like their music being heard by people on the internet. I don't know. Why they agreed to put the music in the game if they're gonna have that mindset, but whatever. Dash. There's not very many games out there that have like a streaming friendly mode that removes um, music that could potentially get uh, content matched. Like uh, Quantum Break is 
possibly the only game I know of that has that. Maybe Control, which is by the same developer. I'm gonna get to I'm not sure. I think I'm not on the time here. I'm at 10 minutes in this recording. And as I've stated many times before, YouTube limits how long I can post these, um, video, how long the videos I can publish at this resolution. If I go much over a half an hour, they'll never resolve to their full resolution. They'll just stick to, like, some 360p nonsense I don't understand. So I have to limit them to half hour and publish multiple videos when I want to go over I'm preventing any kind of cataclysmic build-up here. Not that that's necessarily a sign of success or even, or even less skill to play, it's just a sign that I'm not going to fail anytime soon. We really want to set, be building up to the point where we can set massive combos with a lot of points. It isn't just about seeing how long you can go with people you fail, but also how many points you can get Ash. during that game. Ash. 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 You can hear a piano note hit when he drops them. Dag man, I couldn't keep it going. Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been at least a year since I played this game last. That cleared a lot of red. Actually, you get a significant bonus when you clear out all the blocks of a single color. And even more of a bonus if you clear out all the blocks. Was the case in the Vita game. You want to get four combos in a sweep in order to get a chain going and keep it going by getting these four combos in every sweep. Ah, this song. I don't think that the ones that are get affected by that little cross ability contributes towards the combo or whatever. Ah, I screwed that one up. Not a great placement of that block, I guess.
there's supposedly some secret in which you can basically, uh, some sort of trick in which you could play Luminous basically forever and never lose, and I never even attempted to look that up, whatever it is. Well, it's because I just haven't really cared enough. But, um, I don't know if I'm actually doing it or not. That's how little I know about it. I doubt it, though. Not that I'm deliberately avoiding knowing about it, I just don't really care. If you want to leave a comment in the comments below telling me what it is, I, I find that. I just, I don't need to know it, but I don't need to not know I suspect that I haven't been using it. Sometimes I don't complete enough rotations in the block I'm working on or drop it in the wrong place. I'm moving too fast when I should be. That's a lot of the reasons why I screw up as often as I do in this game. I don't really have all that much anything to say in this video. I like this game. Does that count as something? Also seems like a good way to get introduced into electronic music, if that makes any sense. It has a lot of it, obviously. Now, the, the, the course doesn't get progressively faster with, with each level like it does in um, Tetris. It all depends on what skin is going at any one time. Some skins are faster than others, and eventually you'll get to the end of the rotation, and end of the um, selection of the skins, and it'll start from the beginning again. That shines and so on. And it'll go through it forever until you fail or quit, I guess. Am I only gonna do one video of this? This is one of the faster ones, unless I'm mistaken. Maybe not, I don't know. Got a little 
much shame going there, but I couldn't sustain it. I am quite out of practice. Dad, damn it, I screwed that one up completely. Spaghetti and meat sauce on my part. Quite a significant change in skin. It's actually kind of jarring when it happens when you're in the middle of doing something. It's like, oh crap, I forgot what colors are which again. It doesn't take you long to adjust, it's just you need to be prepared. I feel like it's not quite as easy as it should be at a glance to um, tell when it's going to happen. I think there is a way of looking that up on the screen somewhere on here. It's just, I don't know where it is offhand. Therefore, it always ends up being a surprise. Screw it up a little bit there. The red one, huh? Often not, I find myself uh, waiting for the line to pass before dropping stuff. Part of my ultra conservative method of playing this game of I just don't want to screw up. I want things to get out of control, even if it is the wrong way of doing it. It's a way that I've been doing it for ever since I've been playing some form of Luminous since 2012, really. This is when I got the Vita. This is a slow one, makes it very easy to build up combos. Keep this chain going if I can. Ah, dag damn it, I screwed up somehow. Oh good, I recovered. I'm gonna get it there. Yep, I screwed up. Oh well. Wow. 
Just because it's easy doesn't mean I can't still screw it up. Also, the stack is getting a little out of control here. I need to focus on cleaning this mess up. I want this video to end on my terms, not on me failing. I definitely could have came up with a better spot than that. That was a lousy drop right there. To the end of this video, and before I end it, I just want to take a moment to thank, to thank you so much for watching. And I appreciate when people take time out of their day to watch my streams and videos. Pardon me, live or in archive form. Uh, just as a quick reminder, I do a daily long play stream almost every day, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time from Sunday to Thursday. I do, and right now I'm currently playing through um, Persona 5 Royal on the PlayStation 4. I do a retro stream on Monday night, 8 p.m., and a modern stream on Wednesday night, 11 p.m., with occasional 4K and or HDR uploads, like this, on Fridays. So yeah, this is going to be, what, the fourth or fifth week in a row that I've actually managed to get one of these videos published on a weekly basis, and I'm feeling pretty good about that. I am doing them pretty much a week in advance, and that's been helping keeping me consistent. But yeah, uh, this is a good game, and I think it's fairly cheap on Xbox Live. Uh, I think it's, um, or, or PlayStation Network, I think it's only $20. And if you don't have, um, Luminous that's easily accessible, if you want to play Luminous on the TV, I'd highly recommend it. It's, it's pretty good. I think it's also out on the Switch if you want to get it portably. Either way, you should, you should get Luminous if you don't have it. This is an awesome game, and it deserves more attention. Who knows? Maybe they'll make a new one. Of all the various different versions of Tetris that have come out, including Tetris Effect, which I'll be giving access to thanks to Game Pass Ultimate at some point, uh, I think it's time to take another look at Moonless. I like if they made a Fort of the Vita version, which is the one I have. Well, yeah, that's uh, pretty much going to do it. Um... This video is almost up. Like I said, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take it easy.